Now, how much should we shed and how often should we shed? So we shed all the time. Every day you're shedding because um, always there is hair in that telogen cycle. Um, what's normal is about 50 to 100 hair per day. Once you pass that, that's where you have to consider that maybe you're going through a telogen effluvium or some abnormal shedding. Okay. But that's what's normal. We have a great graph, an illustration, I should say, of a hair growth cycle. Let's talk about what's happening here. Let's go from left to right if we can. Okay, so there's three different cycles. There is the, the there's three different phases of the cycle. So you have the anagen phase. The anagen phase is your growth cycle. So that's where you see at the beginning of the first few pictures. That phase will last two to six years normally. So 85 to 90 percent of your hairs are in the growth cycle. So most of your hair are actually growing. Um, it depends on the length. On the length of the cycle also depends on how long your hair grows. So sometimes patients will come and tell me, I don't have to cut my hair as much as I used to. And that anagen cycle might be shortening. Mm. So on your arms, for example, it's about a one month um, cycle, which is why you don't have these super long hairs on your arms or on your eyebrows or on your face, thank God, I guess. Um, or anything <laughs> like that. Exactly. We'd be doing a lot of lasering. Shit. Right. So once you're done with that, you go into a transitionary phase, which is your catagen cycle, which is almost like, I call it like the chill out cycle. You just finish growing and it just kind of stops and that lasts for about two weeks or so. After that, you go into the telogen cycle, and that's the normal shedding process. So that hair then basically falls out, and then you're shedding. That is a small, it's about 10% of your hair which is going through that, which is why you don't lose all your hair all at once, like the doctor was explaining in the video.